Okay. The next team presenting, please give a warm welcome to Swiss Leg from Switzerland. Good afternoon to everybody. My name is Vito Bonanno and I'm the project manager of Swiss Leg. And I'm Roberto Costa, I'm the CEO of Swiss Leg. Swiss Leg addresses a global humanitarian need. 24 million amputees living in the developing world have a prosthesis, need a prosthesis. 50% of them has a, have a lower limb amputation. Our mission is to give back uh, affordable, high quality, high mobility. To change their life from this situation of no mobility to an high mobility. <laughs> Thanks to three key innovations. First of all, Swiss Leg has the new casting alignment process because starting from the beginning, so no additional alignment are needed. Uh, Swiss Leg has the one thermal uh, molding technique in order to have one piece, just one piece, so all components are molded together. So that means the, the final process is lighter and more, and, uh, and more durable, and it's like this. And uh, the materials that we use uh, is the low cost polypropylene, so it's sturdy, flexible, and easy procurable everywhere. So the final prosthesis that we have is better because the Swiss leg prosthesis, the amputees can walk and run. It's more durable than competitors. And uh, we use the custom alignment for each amputee. It's faster. The process takes just three hours, so the same day service is available. It's a, a key factor for the amputees in the developing world who live far away from the city center. And needs some minimal maintenance. So the amputees cannot come back again in the facility to, to make some adjustment. And it's cheaper. Thanks to the fewer components, simple material, and simplified process, Swiss Lake Rostesis has the lowest price in its category. What about the, the competitors? We have th mainly three categories of competitors. The bionic prosthesis, it's really high-end prosthesis, but also expensive, inaccessible for the amputees. The standard prosthesis has a good ratio between quality and price, but it's also inaccessible. Uh, there is no access to the developing world. And the low cost, but low cost means also poor quality and uh, very low mobility. As you can see in this table, Swiss leg is the best in, in any each row. For the manufacturing cost, for the sale price, and for durability more than three years, and the fitting time, three hours, that means three times faster than competitor. This is why it's the same, the same day service is available. And the mobility is also advanced, working and running as the bionic one. Our experience in team, all of the, our team coming from the University of Italian Switzerland, he is Roberto Agosta, and he holds more than 12 years in humanitarian environment. We have the professor, Paolo Gonzalez, he is our strategist. And Mohamed Ismail is uh, the Jordan, he is Jordan, and uh, he is the inventor of uh, the Swiss Light technology. And he spent over 20 years in uh, Africa to develop this, uh, uh, this technology. And I am the Vito Bonanno, I'm uh, many years of experience in medtech startup companies. Our advisory board members help us to, to establish uh, the, uh, the partnership around the world. And for five years growth, please. We have three operations in the Middle East, in Jordan, in Syria, inside Syria, and in Iraq. And uh, we work with uh, franchise and, uh, and organizations that have rehabilitation projects. And we will expand from uh, this operation into, in the Middle East into Africa and Asia in the next five years, increasing also the cooperations with the international organizations. 
We have our patent that we filed, uh, it's pending, we filed it last year. We have our uh, trademark and we also have received the certification for proofs, proof of concept of the Swiss DAC from the Swiss Federal uh, uh, Commission of Technology and Innovation, which is the, the approval, stamp of approval on the technology. And uh, we have uh, at least 1,500 customers uh, amputees walking on Swiss legs today. Our business plan is that our customer is the franchise that is on the location that manufactures the legs, that sells to the patients. So we provide material kits to them and the know-how with teaching included. So uh, we make a markup on the materials to cover those costs and the customer will pay the leg uh, zero or uh, 300 or 500 dollars depending on the income. Alternatively, we have international organizations that have rehabilitation projects that uh, we will follow uh, with them using their uh, facilities or we, we put them up ourselves. We have, um, so they, they pick up the tab and they give free um, service to the, to the amputees. We have a revenue uh, planned to break even uh, by 2015. Uh, our biggest income will come from the international organization's projects, but we need the franchises to expand faster. And uh, we have raised about 300,000 in, in capital so far. We spent it very well. We helped establish the first franchises. And we need another 400,000 for the expansion phase now into Africa in uh, this coming year. And we have um, total, basically we have to invest about 90,000 to set up uh, a new franchise to help them on their feet. And what about this, the social impact? Uh, we have two classes of beneficiaries. First of all, we have the direct beneficiaries, so is the amputees themselves. And, uh, for the amputees, for each amputee is recommended to, to have a new life, to return in the, in the society, and of course regain dignity. The, in the other hand, we have the indirect beneficiaries. So they are, they are the caregivers that are free to come back to their own occupation. Accordingly, in the International Society for Prosthetics and Orthotics, that for each amputee with a new leg and a new life, there are six caregivers free to come back to their occupation. But also, we intend to establish our facility in the country where we, are, we, have, we, have, we want to work. And so we build local work. Walker. For each facility, there are between 9 and 12 local workers trained by, by us. And also, our business model is already proof of concept to reproduce it any, anywhere in the world. And just to have an idea, uh, according with our business plan, we intend to reach 10, uh, to, produ to produce 10,000 legs per year. So that means the social return, the returns, there is uh, about $180 million for the, so the entire society. And what about this our scale goal? Just to have something here. In order to reach one, leg, uh, one million legs in five years, rise finance, rise awareness, and grow our partners, uh, we can introduce our ID in 20 countries, uh, build 85 prosthetic center, uh, train hundreds of prostheticists, and uh, of, of course, uh, create, create hundreds of new jobs, and uh, of course, produce uh, uh, many, many legs per year to reach one million amputees, so six million caregivers. That means that more than seven million people with a new quality of life. And uh, I would like to show you just some example of that. She's Jasmine. She's a amputee from our center in Jordan. And uh, this year, in, on January, she reached the summit of the Kilimanjaro by, the, by their new leg, by her new leg. And another, another example, she's, is Syrian, uh, she's um, Mariam, a Syrian refugee. She, uh, she lost her leg during the Syrian war, 
and now she got a new leg like, the, like this. And finally, I told you the Swiss leg prosthesis is comfortable to walk and run, but what, what does high mobility mean? I show you the Lucas running and I'm putting it with a new leg against uh, his friend as there is no difference between uh, the amputee with a new leg and his friend. So, at all, the ratio between quality, mobility, and price, and price actually is the best in the market. We, <laughs> <laughs> we are Swiss leg. We are believe that walking is, is a human right for everyone. Everywhere. Thank, Thank you. you.